everyone so today's video is your subby's choice number two and that is bathroom cabinet organization as you can see i'm in dire need of some organization in here but um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you get a few tips so let's get started so i wanted to show you a before of this cabinet and i know it is in desperate need of some organization obviously and this was the most requested video for this week's subby's choice so i wanted to give you an overview of what this looks like before I tackled it and um, whenever I get done organizing I'm gonna come back on and show you everything I did so I'm about to open the doors and show you what I did and I'll just start down here I guess um this little glass container oh I'm sorry I tried on a nail polish you guys I just saw that this little glass container I bought at Target and I really love it. I've been using it primarily in the bathroom to hide like our first aid and stuff but right now I have these face product samples in here and just a pair of clippers and um, some band-aids that I grouped together with a clip and normally I have my Neosporin in there but I need to replenish because we are out of it but those little samples I really didn't have anywhere else to corral those so I thought it worked out pretty well in there um, and then on each side I have two glass jars and they are different prints this one looks like kind of like a checkerboard and this has hubby's q-tips in it and then this one is more of like a swirly type pattern and this has my cotton rounds in it so i just leave those sitting out. i think it looks pretty and just simplistic you know and then over here hiding in the corner i'm still not decided where i'm gonna primarily keep this but this is a good tip that i have um Anytime my husband finds one of my stray bobby pins, which trust me is all the time, he will drop it on this magnet. And what this actually is, is one of those magnetic containers for a locker. You can buy this at the Dollar Tree. And on the other side, inside the container, I just have my little baby um, clear elastics. And that's the only place I keep them. So um, I know where they always are. And I mean, I don't... I mean, I don't tell hubby to put them back if he finds one, but I mean, he knows where they are at any rate, but that's the only place I keep those because those are little pesky suckers. They like to, you know, jump around the house and you find them everywhere, just if you're like me and the bobby pins too. So that is our system for stray bobby pins though. And so that's what I did down here. And then these, these containers actually did come from the Dollar Tree as well. So I love these. I think they're so cute. Um, and so up top I have a basket and I put a few things in there some cleaning supplies some Febreze and I'll just show you some Febreze and some method cleaner I've got my DIY cleaner that I made it's berry cheesecake it smells so good and then in the bottom I have some just plain um, fragrance free wipes I usually like to wipe up my makeup if I do it in here before I clean with that just makes it easier and then this is an old wipe container and I just used it to put my bathroom trash bags in so it works out very nicely and that's what I keep in this basket put that back up there and then in that that right there is actually an air freshener that I got at the Dollar Tree years ago I think that they still have those um, it's just gonna chill out there for now until I can figure out where to put it. I thought it looked pretty beside the basket, but I don't know. So I'm gonna open the doors and show you what this looks like. Much, much better. And I'm so sorry if this video is gonna be a letdown because I have so much more space than I did at my at my old house. And um, so in the bathroom, I have a lot more places to put things. These are just our everyday necessities in this cabinet and um, things that we need to get to easily. So I will just start up here and we'll work our way down. Here I just have some hair products. These are Hubby's hair products. Mine do not, I don't want to take up all the space so mine aren't in here but these are a couple that Hubby is using right now. And then this is the lotion that he likes, the um, Dermasil. And these are, these are kind of tall so I just stuck them over here kind of in order. There's our mouthwash. We both use that, so it's accessible to both of us right there. Hubby's deodorant and then Hubby's little um, spray, like a cologne spray from the Dollar Tree. He loves that stuff. So all of his stuff is pretty much right here. And this is very awkward, so that's about the only place I could put it. And then moving over, you'll see this glass container. And this came from the Dollar Tree. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. Um, this came from the Dollar Tree. and. We have our toothbrushes in here and our toothpaste and you can see that it's very accessible. We can pull it in and out if we need to, which I normally do. I don't think hubby does, 
But down inside there, I have a lid to some, um, it's actually a lid to some Coach fabric cleaner. But I mean, if you wanted to try this, any lid would do, but this just contains products I reach for and grab that I need first thing in the morning and then the things I need at night. So down in that little lid there, I have my eye drops, I have some Bliss Text, I have my hard candy, um, ID puffer, my whitening pen, and another little lip balm. And it just works out so beautifully. That lid sits down in the jar and it helps corral all of those little products that normally, you know, would be flopping around everywhere. And then over here in this container, this is actually an old empty Kleenex container, as you can probably tell. But what I did was just saved it and I took out the top part of the cardboard. And this just houses our new um, fresh razors, ones that we haven't used. And this is so much easier because like if I jump in the shower, my shower is right here. And if I jump in the shower, a lot of time I'll forget a new razor. So if they're right there, it's easier for me to jump out and just grab what I need. And this idea, I have another one of these containers in my downstairs bathroom. So that's a really great idea if you want a stylish way to kind of corral, you know, little objects that, um, you know, that you don't want flopping around in your cabinets or anything. And it really pulls everything together nicely, I think. And then these are actually sitting up on a mesh tray. And they... These trays actually came from the Dollar Tree, and they're just like a three compartment tray for your desk, but I flipped it over and set those on top. And the reason I did that is in case hubby needs to sit something here, there's a bunch of space right there for more products, but I just did that in case we end up needing this space. That way these things will sit up higher and we can still fit things right there like See, his deodorant would fit nicely there. I mean, you can utilize all your space if you really, you know, if you really put your mind to it. So, just in case, I put that there. And I like the variation, you know, of the products. But, anyway, so moving on down, this is basically my shelf. And these are just things I would, I, I need on a daily basis, if not a day-to-day -day basis. And in this little basket, I just have my... Um, moisturizer, I've got face wash, facial scrub, I've got some nighttime moisturizer, and my cold cream. And then in this one I have um, kind of like a fun cupcake lotion. I've got my um, my other Palmer's lotion, a Victoria's Secret spray, and then my Carried Away from Bath & Body Works. Oh, all my body, body spray, but I like to have some handy, you know, because I like to spray them on after I get out of the shower and I like to have my lotions together and things like that. So, and then in that corner right there, I've got my legs in a can, my, my Sally Hansen airbrush legs. It chills out back there because I definitely don't use that on a daily basis, but um, I pretty much put that on like every other day or every two days. Um, and then in this little jar, this is interesting. You guys may think I'm completely cray for this, but um, this is actually a bouillon cube um, jar. And I just washed it out and I've started putting bobby pins in it. And um, this is like a great way. I hate using them, you know, off of the cardboard. So when I need to replenish or I need to grab a few, you know, I can go here to find them. I think it's a really cool kind of way, but, um, so I just got that tucked in there in case I do my hair in here. Most of the time I'm in my um, my makeup slash vanity room doing my hair. But I mean, I just like to keep them in there just in case so they'll be close to me. But yep, yeah, that's everything that I did for this cabinet, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got a couple of cool ideas. I hope it wasn't too boring. I need to fix that, don't I? This cabinet came with our new house and I just, um, I have a lot more room than I had before so this might have been a more interesting video at our old house because I really had to utilize my space like I mean I just had very limited space but hopefully you got a couple of cool ideas um and if anything I know you know I know you guys like to see some of the products that I use and um so thumbs up if you enjoyed this and stay tuned for next week's um, choices for your subby's choice. I love you guys so much. You're so awesome. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I really appreciate all of your feedback and your input from everything. And you guys are amazing. And yeah, so I will put those choices in right here. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.